Hey, how's it going? It's Kevin from Reviews by Kevin. I do quick reviews of stuff, and today I am reviewing the Tau. Uh, sorry, what is it? Tau <laughs> Tautronics BH053 True Wireless headphone <laughs> Headphones. Um, I was thinking about getting the Samsung Buds, but these were 30 bucks. So I was like, if we can get good enough for 30 bucks, fine by me. Um, I've been shocked by how good they are. Like, pretty shocked. Um, I have been using them for about three weeks now, on and off, and they were good enough for me to not buy the Samsung Galaxy Buds. I'll talk about first the sound. That's what surprised me the most. I thought they were going to be like tinny or crappy or whatever. They sound as good as, good as my Jaybird X2s did. Almost as good. Not quite as good, but like 90% as good. They're bassy, like surprisingly bassy for their size and clear. And yeah, I was just really surprised. They sound like good quality headphones, not like $30 headphones. I know they're usually 50, but even so they, they sound like as good as like a $120 pair that you would expect to sound. So that was like real, when it comes to headphones, I mean like sounding good is important. And that's what surprised me the most. They're leagues better than AirPods. Like there's no question in my mind that they're better than AirPods. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Um, now the second thing, I'm just kind of listing off things that in terms of importance to me as a user, as I've experienced it, they don't stick in my ears that solidly. Like they don't fall out. If I shake my head really, really hard, one will fall out. But I wish that there was some kind of a fin or some, some kind of a something that would give it a little bit, I dropped them, give it a little bit more of a secure fit. So day to day as I'm walking around, they don't cause me problems, they don't fall out, but I'm constantly like trying to sh like shove them in deeper so that they'll connect a little bit better. Okay, so right there, as soon as I put it on, like before it was all the way in my ear, it said TWS connected. So that's like the pairing between the two earbuds. It's very nearly instantaneous. Like usually it's either connected by the time I get it in my ear or it's in the process of connecting. Um, so I was worried about like the pairing and the connecting being not so reliable. That was an unfounded fear. It's really rock solid and it connects to my phone instantly when I take the left earbud out. So that's kind of the process. When you take it out of the left, the left one will connect to the phone. When you take it out of the right, the right one connects to the left. So you can take either one out first. Like if you take the right one out first, kind of nothing happens. And then you take the left one out and it pairs both to the, the device and to the other earbud. So pairing process, super good, super solid. I can walk all the way across my par apartment and they still stay connected. Um, the battery, I have not charged it since the first night. So I only use it, you know, on my walk to work and back. So maybe max like a half hour to an hour a day. I'm still on two of the four lights. So when I put these back in, Four, here, I'll just do it and see if I can catch it on camera fast enough. I'm filming with one hand. I should have just put it on a tripod. My reviews are scuffed, but I tell you what I think. So I'm putting it back in and hopefully you can, yeah, there's the two lights. So I'm still at half battery and it's been like three weeks now. Um, yeah, delivered June 17th and I've, I've charged it that day and I haven't charged it since. So. Well, like I actually wish, okay, so now I'm gonna talk about the next thing, the case, because this brings me to that. There's a, way more than enough battery. It's, it's kind of a little bit, a little bit too bulky to be comfortable in your pocket. I wish they would just half as, put half as much battery in the case and just make the case smaller. My brother has the Samsung Galaxy Buds. I held the cases up next to each other. I'll literally put the pictures that I took because if I end up forking over the money for buds, it would only be because A, maybe the fit is a little more secure in my ears because when he puts it in, he kind of screws it in and it seems to have a little bit of a fin. Um, but that's not a deal breaker. I can deal with how well these stick in my ears. It's good enough. I wore it at the gym once and like they didn't fall out, so we're good enough. But the case is like 15% smaller on that one. Like not that much, but just enough to make the difference for putting it in your pocket. 
So I put it in my pocket next to my wallet and my keys, like a lot of you probably would too. It's okay, but you always feel the feeling of like a little bit of something bulky in your pocket. It's just a little bit annoying. So not quite deal breaker, but just who needs this much battery, honestly? You can plug it in once every two weeks instead of once a month. Um, but yeah, amazing battery, but at the cost of a slightly bigger case than you'd want. Now, I've seen the newer ones coming out, like the Sony ones that got really highly rated. They're like even three times bigger of cases, so I think a lot of these companies are giving up on making it pocketable, but just make it smaller. I just want some earbuds to throw in my pocket. Like honestly, when people think about the AirPods and why they're so popular, it's not because they have the most stellar sound in the world. It's because they're super, super small and good enough. I don't know. Um, the touch controls on the side are pretty good. The double tap and triple tap and single tap all work fine. I'm actually a little surprised at how responsive that works. But as a broader point, I think touch controls for things that you wear on your head are annoying. Like I would rather have real buttons. I know that's not really practical on true wireless ones like this, but I'm always nervous of hitting the touch controls when I'm adjusting them or like pushing them in deeper or taking them out of the case or anything like that. It hasn't been a big problem because I'm always conscious of it. And also because like the, the, the stick that hangs down on these out of your, I'm gonna put it on again. The stick that hangs down on these when you put it out of your ears is not part of the touch surface. So if I wanna adjust it, I kind of pinch between the top and the bottom there. And that doesn't end up in me touching the front of it. But I want tactile feedback on a button on something. Like I think watches with touch surfaces are a bad idea. And I think ear pieces, whether it's headphones or earbuds with touch surfaces are a bad idea because they, you wear them on your head. Like I'm gonna brush up against it. Um, overall, would I buy these? For 30 bucks, it's really, really good. But I think some of why people spend a thousand dollars on a phone and a few hundred dollars on earbuds, like $400 on the, on the new Bose ones, is because of how much of our lives we spend interacting with this stuff. I could buy four of these for the cost of Galaxy Buds, but I don't care. I'll spend four times more money just for it to be a little bit better because I only want one pair. I only want one pair of wireless head. I, I only want one good one of everything in my life. I don't want a bunch of crap. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking about getting the Galaxy Buds because they'll stick in my ears a little bit more secure and the case will be a little bit smaller in my pocket and I can charge it with USB-C. Um, those are incremental, small, nitpicky things to be different between the Tautronics cheap ones and the Samsung Galaxy Buds expensive ones. And also, I'm comparing a lot to that one when I've heard that the sound quality is not that great, so maybe I'll get them and they sound worse and then I'll rant about that. But every aspect of these is surprising at how good it is and at the same time, not quite good enough for me to want it to be the only one in my life. So, um, take from that what you will. Like, I think a lot of people feel this way about the technology in their life. Like, they just want it to be the best. Like, that is the area of my budget that has some give, is I just want to get the good tech because it's on my head all day, or it's in my pocket all day, or it's like my main computer, and I'm talking about my phone. Um, it's not my main computer, my laptop is, but you get the point. So they're good, surprisingly good, but not great. And for some of you that'll mean don't buy it, for some of you that will mean buy it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to where you can get these. Um, if you use that link, if you click to Amazon through that link and buy them, then I get a little kickback. I tend to make between 20 and 50 bucks a month off of all these videos and my dongle site, alldongles.com, um, which goes back into buying things that I end up reviewing on this anyways, so it's a wash. Um, thanks for watching, this was Reviews by Kevin, and that was the Tautronics True Wireless Headphones. Peace.